good everybody JV Lewis 77 back with another reaction video follow me on Instagram Twitter snapchat like subscribe to the channel leave a comment now what I'm gonna look at today is a video from the RDC world one boys as these cats they did all type of anime videos just off the chain they had like parody videos of the, almost every game of the NBA finals between Golden State in Cleveland and that shit was hilarious off the chain so what these cats are doing right now is called the Hood Olympics so let's see what these damn fools got and here we are with men's car jacking 100 meters first up we have Mark Phillips straight out of the hood he's one of the best car jackers in any hood of the United States and in lane two we have England's very own gold medalist Desmond Johnson a phenomenal lock picker it's said that if you leave your car unattended by him for five seconds it's as good as gone I'm very anxious to see how this one's gonna play out. This is definitely gonna be one for the books. And they're off. Both niggas definitely match the speed. Mark takes a stop at the Beamer trying to stun on niggas while Desmond heads for the Stratus. Mark looking like he's having a hard time with that 08 Beamer while Desmond looking so comfortable with it. He's done this before plenty of times. Desmond gets the door open a little bit faster than Mark. They both head into the car. I hear the Stratus starting up. Desmond turned the wheel. Two time gold medalist. He's definitely won this one. <laughs> Homeowner running out of the house, he's definitely too late. Desmond's been gone. No, he can't catch Desmond, that strategy is gone. He turns around and tries to stop the Beamer, he's got Mark. He's not even trying to put up a fight, he knows where he's going. Up next we have Desmond Johnson and weed rolling. He said to be able to roll 100 blunts in under 5 minutes, so we're definitely expecting a fat, properly rolled blunt from him today. And he's off. Look how he's rolling that blunt. Sheer concentration. I don't know anyone who could do it better. Look at him roll that blunt. Here comes the hardest part, licking the blunt. He's got to apply a nice and even coat of saliva to make that blunt. Per oh, and he's definitely going to get points taken off for that extra lick. That is too much saliva. Unnecessary. Extra shit. That's way too much. And here is Desmond Johnson in the men's swag off. He's uh, looking like the typical hood nigga here. Um, he has the Jordan Futures on the black side oh what is that a uh, brick he definitely missed that <laughs> shot he has uh, the typical non hooping outfit on yeah they never can hoop when they go to the court like that next up we have Lila Manny going to sweat the off walking in like he can drop any nigga at any second he has the nice short sleeve hoodie on and the oh maroon six is definitely compliments the outfit fresh as fuck oh shit is that the crib walk Definitely hitting that niggas love. Oh shit, is that the that's a Raven dance? He's definitely gonna get some uh points there. Niggas love dancing. He's uh he did the I thing. Miss you. Damn thing. And last but not least, Mark Phillips in the swag off. Walking in like he can take your bitch at any second. Okay, with the Dragon Ball Z shirt on, definitely some points there. Niggas love Dragon Ball Z. Laney fives. He's definitely complimenting the fit as well. I like how this dude's standing there like he's that nigga. Oh shit. Fresh fade on his head and walking off like nigga, I just did that shit. Jumping right into Hood's men freestyling eight bars. Uh, we have Jamaica about to give you some of that uh, Jamaican heat. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Big shirt, cause I do big things. What up, Jamaica? Got girls with the fat things. Whip white like cool. Your girl got dumb brain like she dropped out of school. I be no fool. I'm going for the gold like you saying, boy. You countries lost your cool. I'm taking your ring like candy on a rope. <laughs> give me your ring, man. Just give me your ring. Your ring. Give me your ring. His flow definitely has some uh, Jamaican heat. He said, uh, big shirts, cause I do big things. Um, He's definitely taking some rings from a few countries with that right there. And uh, that's Jamaica, Affion Harris. And here we are with Olympics men's roasting. We have Mark Phillips from the USA and Lila Manigo from Canada. Definitely some of their country's best roasters. In, uh, and they're going to high side here at Hood Rio, for lack of a better term. And ooh, look at that execution on Mark's wrist. He's definitely ready. We have Ben the instigator and Desmond Johnson as an instigator as well. I expect to hear a lot of ooh shits. And uh, let's jump right into it. I got him, I got him, boy. The first nigga to have a short sleeve sweater wearing ass, boy. Oh, no. Look at your black ass, boy. Tar skin ass, boy. Man, nah, what fuck that. Mean? You had a lot of coming out of here with that damn Dragon Ball Z shirt on. You like 25 years old. Boy, you better stop. I bust the Crayola shirt nah, ass, nah, boy. Get nah, boy. Get boy, hell no. Nah. Get your Gucci Mane looking ass. Genuine oh, hair ass. 
on, man. <laughs> Fuck that. Roscoe Dash looking at Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> what you better read the last pants? Like you well, I know you ain't got no green pants on, boy. Ugly pants ass, boy. What is those? You better man. stop. You slipping them hoes. Woke up <laughs> and came out here. Get your 28 years old. You got two of you 28 years old. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck all that, boy. You 28 years old with braces and your teeth oh. still big. Show them, show them. Oh. Boy, you your trick daddy looking ass, boy. <laughs> That was definitely a great roasting match. I just want to highlight some of my favorite parts. Uh, Leland being the first nigga to have a short sleeve jacket wearing ass definitely had me rolling. Had my kids rolling as well. But um, Leland had some heat as well. Um, he said Mark was 25 years old, still wearing a Dragon Ball Z shirt wearing ass. Uh, definitely had us cracking up as well. We were all rolling. I just want to say, look at how Mark threw that hand right there. Definitely some heat was about to come out no matter what. Perfectly executed. I couldn't be more astonished by his performance. And then Man, the fire he gave me right here. Gucci Mane looking ass and genuine hair ass. So such an accurate description. Look at his hair. Like, it's some R&B singer. Genuine. Cisco. It was somebody. It's crazy. <laughs> Wait, hold up a minute. Looks like somebody might be heating <laughs> up out there. <laughs> What's up, bitch? Hold on, nigga, who you talking to? I'm talking to you. You what I'm talking about. No, that's how it always goes. What's up? That's how I know you're talking about. Why I get it roasting? I was in case when they start fighting. Is that the cup? What? Ain't this your house, though? It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. These cats off the motherfucking chain, man. Stupid ass dudes, man. The creativity these cats got, man, this shit is wild, man. If y'all not following these cats, or ain't peeping these cats' videos, y'all missing out, man. Cause see, I started seeing these cats' videos, you know, uh, Supreme Dreams 1, you know what I'm saying? That's a dude who do the commentary, like the main one out of all of them. You know what I'm saying? The cat that was wearing the Dragon Ball Z shirt. You know, I saw his videos on Facebook, you know, and I started following him. Then you see all the same people in his videos. And then when they did the LeBron, Steph Curry, after game reactions to the finals, you know, that set it off. But they obviously well known just for anime and things like that. But y'all need to get them cats a follow, man. Y'all need to check them out for real. Well, let me know what y'all think. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Catch y'all on the rebound. Y'all be safe out here. JV Lewis 77. And I'll catch y'all next video. Peace.